It is a boombox on wheels. And when I say that, I say it proudly because that's exactly what it is. Today, for Tuned In SA, we got something very, very different to the norm. Believe it or not, I am cruising, rocking and rolling in a Kia Picanto. A car that is really, really, very rarely modified in this country we call South Africa. But this one here, this one is the complete exception to the rule. This is a Kia Picanto, which I guarantee you, you have never seen before. Before I tell you any more, man, let's go meet the man who decided to build this car on a budget, definitely overspent what he was supposed to spend. And uh, he's made a lot of really happy people. Wherever he goes, man, he just starts the party, makes new friends and takes new numbers. My boy Roswin. How are you doing, bro? You good? I'm always good. As you can see, I'm very good. So, for y'all that don't know, Roswin has got a little, little Kia Picanto by the name of? The Bunny Chow. Best you know, you heard it here first, right here in Tuned In SA. Why did you call it the Bunny Chow? The car never had a name. It was just known as the Picanto. Yeah, so, and then when I met up with the Speed and Sound guys, it's like, wow, well, what do you want to introduce a car to? So it's like, I like food, <laughs> the car is small, it has a punch, the bunny chow. Just wanted to build a uh, sound car. Then ended up, and the first thing that I, before sound I did, was adding the air suspension. Okay. And then stones became life, you understand? But still, I didn't want to throw away the sound thing. Once you step into that crew, bro, once you step into that stones life, bro, then it's a ride or die forever. <laughs> My main aim was to become to get into the speed and sound. Okay. Uh, so speak, spoke to Nizo. Nizo gave me advice on what to do, and then started with the wiring, my foundation, because as I said, uh, I love sound too much, bro. If you haven't picked that up already, then you better keep watching. The sound install, including upgrades, totaled up to forty-five thousand rand. Michael from Durban. He organized me the woofers, but you can get them locally now here. Yeah in Gauteng, what wherever, the Soundstream T4 woofers. It was from Brazil, but it's Bender make. Okay. Um, they say it's one of the top makes in Brazil, but it plays good, I enjoy it. Oh, you know what, yeah. Brazilians love to dance and sherbet. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have good sound when you're shaking that booty, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Do you shake booty, you gotta shake, bro. When you it's too much to shake, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much booty to shake. Being a small car, and since you're being a, like, a sound enthusiast, does it help with the sound delivering? Actually, it's a struggle because um, with the wavelength that's in the car, you're struggling to get the bass out of it, actually. So okay. um, we try to help it out with a bit of deadening. Not actually a bit, it's a lot of deadening inside the car. Got to keep it Yeah, in. but it's not that loud, though. It doesn't kill your ears. I, I still pass my medicals at work. This is now actually the third set of door pods that's on the car now. Every time the judges don't see it, I decided, okay, let me push up my game. So yeah, it's like, I don't want to say it, but it's money, money, money. Yeah, yeah. All the ways. Ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching. Don't tell your wife or your girlfriend it, that, but it's... 
It's a money game, bro. I hope she doesn't check this show. We don't blame him. The custom headlights, suspension, and Runex RXI rims came up close to 50,000 Rand. I, I was struggling a bit. I didn't want that turn of a tire, but with the uh, lowering, mm -hmm. it was rubbing too much. So I had to put a lower profile on it. And then when I tried to stand out, um, I did the purple coating at the back, uh, but the purple coating actually came from the dices were purple oh, okay. on my valve caps. So I did the purple and then I was like, everybody said, that's too little of that color in the car. So then I started doing the engine tepid cover myself. I sprayed that, changed everything to stainless steel. I removed the batteries up front. Now it has four batteries in the car. Wow. Yeah. Where, where do you fit that? Two in the spare wheel well, and then two underneath the seat. The lip on this Kia Picanto is a once-off custom job, and in addition to that is a boot spoiler and custom tailpipes which Roswin built itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a kind of epic personalities and really cool builds that you can expect every single week. Stay tuned, you're watching Tuned in SA.